I'm going to present a video today and um, I would like to show everyone who's kind of stuck in this situation um, at home who have wigs and have never washed or took care of a wig before. Um, so what I decided to do is do a tutorial in my bathroom so that you can see what it's all about. Um, obviously, um, I recommend getting the proper products. If you have professional product, product that's great. Um, I like to use our Helen Seward, which is our bio line. Um, they, I do have uh, some left uh, that you can order on online. Um, I'll put the links for some of the products that I would recommend using. And um, and uh, I also recommend Biolage, but anyways, I'll put the links for different shampoos um, that you can get directly on our website. If you have it already, that's even better for you. Um, but I will uh, show you how to wash. This is a human wig. Um, synthetic wash, it's a little different, but um, I'll start with the human. So basically, you want to put on water that's not too hot, not too cold. It's lukewarm even. A little warmer than cold is fine. Okay? So, um, you really want to make sure it's completely wet. So the next step would be to put some shampoo. Um, you really want to make sure you put a little bit everywhere. So um, this wig is pretty clean, so it's really, most likely it's not going to set the first time. You may have to do two or three times. Um, if you cook with your wig or frying, smoking, um, in general, you probably have to wash it a little bit more to really take away the dirt, but um, in general, two, two times is good. Um, sometimes you need a third, very rarely a fourth, but so you really want to massage it and never scrub too hard. Just want to massage and lather it in. It's better to rinse and do it again than to ruin the wig especially handmade wigs, anything that's handmade, you ne never want to scrub. So, rinse it all out. If there's still soap, that's fine, because you're going to do a second shampoo. After the second shampoo, obviously, um, when you rinse it, it has to be completely shampoo free. You're going to see that it's going to lather even better now. Um, so. Now, if your wig is dyed, the reason why hot water is not such a good idea because hot water makes the dye seep out more. So, um, if you're not sure or if you're scared, just use something, you know, warm. Uh, as if you would wash your own hair with, it's fine. You know, make sure you got the soap out everywhere. Um, you definitely don't want soap left in the way. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to use a um, regular conditioner. Um, I do, uh, some people have wigs that are not such high quality or if your wig is a bit older, um, a good treatment is always good. Um, I'll also link some suggestions of types of um, treatments you can do. Um, as you can see, I only put conditioner at the bottom. 
and I kind of am avoiding the top for now because the top of this wig is handmade. So the cap's not at the bottom, but some wigs are handmade everywhere, so you have to be careful. So you want to always make sure you have a conditioner at the bottom. Now, um, once you let it condition, anyways, it's usually the tips that are usually more dry than the rest, but you still want to get it in there. So you're going to start from the bottom and you're going to slowly work your way up. Now, um, if your wig was tangled before washing, it's better you start to um, detangle it before it's wet. The other thing is it depends on the quality of hair you have. Some wigs, um, if they're you know cheaper quality wigs, when you wash them, they tend to mangle and tangle together. Um, that's a little more complicated uh, to deal with, but you know, I, uh, I'm working with the, the, the best case scenario. If you're having a hard time and your wigs tangle, that's maybe, you know, you'd want to contact me and I can maybe suggest um, other ways of washing it. But when it's a good quality wig and your wig's in good condition in general, you know, it should be pretty simple like this. We're going to rinse it all out. I mean, if a little bit of conditioner is left, it could make it a bit oily, depending. Um, this wig is really soft, so I wouldn't want to leave any, any conditioner behind. But if your wig is really dry, you know, if you have a little bit of conditioner left behind, it's not such a big deal. Make sure there's nothing left. Looks pretty, pretty good. So um, now for those who are not very good with blow drying and styling wigs and are pretty scared about it. Okay, what I would suggest, I'm going to show you um, a trick, um, trying to help you make it as nice as possible, considering you don't know how to style it. Um, so what I'll suggest, first of all, um, find, keep it where the part is usually. So if your part's like this, then when you wash it, leave it the way, you see I had left it the way it was parted. So you just wash it the way I did, but leave the part where it was. Don't, you know, dishevel that. So now at least you know where your part is. What you could do is brush it out. So for example, this wig, I'm going to brush it out the way I want it dried in the morning um, so i'm going to do that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow dry the interior only of the cap so once this is dried a bit what i'm going to do is put it on the mannequin i don't want to leave it wet on the mannequin because it could stretch out the wig so i want to make sure that the inside is dry first before i place it on the head um, or a stand or whatever you have then once that's done, you let it dry overnight. In the morning, since you're not sleeping on it, it's going to dry basically looking like this. Tomorrow morning, I will show you, oh yeah, sorry, and if you have bangs, bring the bangs forward like you would normally wear them. So if this one has long bangs, but if you have bangs, like, I'm gonna do it like this for now. If you have bangs, bring them forward and uh, so that they're up here. And we're gonna let it dry overnight. If you have wavy or you like to have some waves on your wig, like this one is a straighter wig, but you, if you go like this with a bit of mousse, like this, and you take a towel and you dry it out like this, um, and you let it dry overnight, this wave will stay more or less. And then we can finish it off in the morning, maybe with a curling iron if you're comfortable with that, or just leave it as is. If you want it straight, okay, make sure you comb it as straight as possible. Let it dry like this, and tomorrow morning, when this wig will be dry, um, we'll look at it together and I'll give you some tips on what you can do to make it um, look, you know, not maybe not 
salon blow dry, but at least nice for you to be able to wear it. I hope this helps. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see each other tomorrow morning. Take care.